Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Meta Tuesdays here in Arena Underground. This week we are playing Rakdos Sacrifice in Best of One Standard. As always, if you enjoy our content, please make sure to click that like and subscribe button below. It's a way to support the channel for free. Now, this is going to be a short deck tech. I think we have four or five games for you, for you this week. Um, basically, we were looking to see what would be a cool meta deck that we could play that it's not the normal Mono Red, Azorius Control, Jeskai Fires, etc. So we decided to go with Ragdos Aristocrats, which is still being played, but not as much as the others. But I think it's still a pretty good deck, um, especially we kind of uh, changed a few things just to make sure we had a good match against Mono Red. And uh, this is what we came up with. Basically, we we're playing the cat package with Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven, which is obviously great against Mono Red because it's life, uh, life gain that we need. Then we have small creatures like Gutter Bones, which save, you know, are good for defense and offense. We have Claim the Firstborn, which is obviously a good removal spell, but also allows us to maybe deal some extra damage to our opponent. And then one thing we did is we main deck three copies of Red Cap Melee or Melee, whatever you want to call it. Um, this deck used to have two copies or three of um, Rankle. And we decided there's a lot of Mono Red going around, especially in Best of One. So it was better to have more removal. Um, in this case, in Red Cap Melee is just great. Instant, one mana, especially great against Mono Red. For obvious reasons and then you know the rest of the package four copies of mayhem devil four copies of wall strider which is also really good um in this sacrifice option deck right anyway three copies of midnight reaper two copies of maddie reveler and four copies of priest of the forgotten gods that's basically it. We added a couple of Temple of Malice from Theros Beyond Death to be able to scry. And then uh, obviously Castle Lockwain, which is a great addition to these decks just because a lot of times you lose games because you can't um, draw the cards that you need, right? And anyway, yeah, we had, we had fun playing this. We had fun beating Mono Red. So hope you guys enjoy the games and we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Alright guys, we are playing Rakdos 2020 in best of one standard. And this hand is reasonable. I think we have all the colors we need. And hopefully we draw into some more action like a Cauldron Familiar. So we'll keep this. Our opponent goes first. Alright, Teen Street Dodger as expected. Alright, that is actually pretty Perfect, so we get to Swamp Gutter Bones. See what our opponent wants to do against our Gutter Bones. Yeah, Cauldron Familia is really key here. It's not great precisely against uh, Embercleaf, but obviously it's pretty good. And we also have two Mayhem Devils, so that's going to be pretty good at that point as well. Alright, no blocks from our opponent. So our opponent can choose to try and burn the cat just for the purpose of growing the Runaway Stimking, but... Alright, they're just going in for the attack and try to steal something from us. Hopefully a land. Okay, sure. Alright, they get Priest of the Forgotten Gods. All right, we get to block one of these two twos. Sack our cauldron familiar. We're going to 
to cancel this, go to our next step, because we get to play a Mayhem Devil and kill something here. Kill a few things, actually. So we get to kill the Runaway Stimkin. Don't need to play our familiar again, I believe. We'll pass the turn. We can kill the 10th Street Dodger later on. We'll keep Gutter Bones on defense here. Our opponent could potentially Lava Coil our Mayhem Devil if they wanted to. Gonna get hit for one here. That's totally fine with us. The cool thing is next turn we get a second Mayhem Devil. Should be pretty nice. Alright, we take one. We might see a light up the stage here from our opponent. But we see a Priest of the Forgotten Gods. That is fine with us. Priest of the Forgotten Gods, of course, comes down with Summoning Sickness. So, that is that. We get to play a Castle Locked Win and another Mayhem Devil here. So we get two triggers here. Alright, we get rid of the Priest of the Forgotten Gods, we ping our opponent as well. We can now attack for 3 here. Opponent could have something like a... Shock in hand, so we're just gonna attack with the Gutter Bones, see what our opponent decides to do here. Alright, they're gonna take it, it's fine with us. We'll pass the turn. Alright, they have five lands. They could play like a Torbrand here or another Dodger, sure. And I believe they have to play defense here. Or not. Alright, they're just gonna go for it. No blocks on our side. Take one damage from the Teen Street Dodger. Pass the turn. Nice, we drew a Midnight Reaper. It's pretty cool. Alright, we get to ping the Rubber of the Rich there. Get rid of that. Alright, our opponent definitely has a shock in hand. Is thinking if they should shock the Midnight Reaper. Don't think that was a good call because at this point we're not doing much with the Midnight Reaper. And we can actually just sacrifice the Midnight Reaper to our Witch's Oven. In which case we get a few more triggers. One for Tint Street Dodger, one for them. Draw a card, that's perfect. Get our cat back. And our opponent should be dead next turn. 
We'll just... Actually, they're dead right now. If we sacrifice this food... Yeah, that's game. Alright, awesome. These Mayhem Devils really put a lot of work there. Good game, Mono Red. Alright guys, we are playing Ragdoll's Sacrifice 2020 version. February 2020, that is. And, yeah, I think this hand is fine. We have the Oven, we have the Cat. We have protection against Mono Red, so we'll try this. Alright, that is an Is It Temple of Epiphany. This might be... Very interesting. I think... We start here with... All right, I guess we go Temple of Malice and Scry, because the thing is, if we start in different matter, we still don't get to play two things next turn, so let's do that. We'll keep Claim of the, claim the Firstborn. That's a good card to have with Witch's Oven on the battlefield. Here we see... Yep, so this is Jeskai Fires. Alright, so we'll play the oven, play the cat. They could potentially play Teferi next turn, bounce our witch's oven. That's not really critical. They could also bounce, try to bounce the cat. It's not really going to work, but... Alright, so this is some sort of... Hmm. Four color fires? Alright, short... Alright, so let's see what our opponent does here. Okay, they go for that. That's fine. Sacrifice our cat. Get back the oven in our hand. They draw another card. Short. We play our oven again. And we can kill Teferi next turn. Yep, it's pretty good. We get to Fable Passage. Play oven. We can play Gutter Bones here. I mean, if our opponent wants to definite Clarion, that seems fine with us at this point. So we'll just do that. Get to Ferry off the battlefield. Pass the turn. All right, yeah. This seems like a definite Clarion turn for our opponent. I'm not sure if they're playing Definite Clarion because they have a weird watery grave here, which is not the usual thing, right? We're going to sacrifice this Fable Passage and get another Black Source, I believe. Yeah, I know the, maybe a Mountain is fine. Sure. Alright, let's see what our opponent decides to do here. They can bounce Gutter Bones back, maybe? All right, let's let's let that be bounced. That's fine. Sacrifice our cat. Play it again. All right, perfect. So we get to do a few things here. We get to replay our gutter bones. We could play Wolf Strider, but I don't think there's a real need here for Wolf Strider. Our opponent could potentially just They could play Fires of Invention into a Definite Clarion, so we'll keep that. We can also try to kill them later on with Claim the Firstborn.
All right, so we'll pass a turn here. That's two Teferi's down. It's not bad. All right, they play a Fae Wishes to find something. So we get to attack for a bit next turn. That should be good. Let's see what they're looking for. I'm not... What did they find? They find creature cards in the graveyard arms can't enter the battlefield. Okay. So we do the cat thing first. Go on the attack here. So they could still have something to kill our creatures next turn, but maybe they don't. So I think we just pass the turn here and see what happens. So I think they would have played that definite Claren before. I mean, they don't. It, it's not a great play, but you could, right? Yeah, here's a definite Claren. So we'll definitely sacrifice our cat regardless. So creature cards in the graveyard and libraries can't enter the battlefield. See what's next. Shimmer of possibilities. Okay. Turn cauldron familiar. All right. Let's see if this works. I'm not completely sure. All right. I can't. So. That really completely destroys the Cauldron Familiar plant. So we're going to have to kill our opponent the old-fashioned way. In that case, we'll take some damage here. Yep. Play Gutter Bones. Play Wolf Strider. See if our opponent has another definite Clarion in hand, which they could. Alright, we are going to scry here. Don't really need another castle luck, Wayne. Uh, Maddie Reveler, not great, but it is it is a card, right? We can use it. Alright, so nothing happens with the Definite Clarion. Narset comes in. Let's see what they find. So this is some sort of four-color control. There's the Fires of Invention that's coming down next turn. Alright. So what do we got here? We have... Right, if a non-red permanent, hmm. we sacrifice a land. All right, so we'll play priest. Get rid of 
I don't know what our opponent can have in hand. I think we want to get rid of Narset. I think Narset could be really annoying here, right? So... Yeah, we'll get rid of Narset. Sacrifice a Swamp. And we'll pass the turn, see what happens. Opponent's at 7, so if as long as they don't gain life, we might be okay. Let's see what they do with this Fires of Invention. Ashok. Okay. What are they going to do with Ashok? Alright, they get rid of Witch's Oven. Or put it in our hand, okay. So I guess we'll get rid of that. There's no point in keeping that if we can't bring our cards back from the graveyard. So that's that. Hit our opponent here. Ooh, but we're gonna have to discard the claim the first one. That's that's annoying, but I think we need to do it, right? Or we can just Yeah, I believe we have to. We could wait a turn for Ashok to have a 2-3 as well. Those are interesting options for sure. Alright, let's see what happens if we cast this. Okay. Well, we have creatures. It's not bad. Pass the turn. Let's see if our opponent has another definite clarion in hand. Or a shatter of the sky. They could have a shatter of the sky. Okay, they create a 2 3. It's a good blocker. They call Bolas. Sure. So this is a Fires deck that... Huh. It's very interesting, I guess. Yeah, we'll sacrifice... A mountain. Could it also sacrifice this, maybe, but... Alright, they play Narset. Pass the turn. Alright, so they're at 6 life. And they can't do anything else because there's a Fires of Invention here. If we sacrifice 2 creatures. We get 2 pings from Mayhem Devil. 2 from Priest. A sacrifice and then we attack. Alright, so we have to attack first and get some damage in, right? Not ideal. If they block the priest, then we don't get those triggers. We get one trigger from this thing. Alright, let's do it. I think we have it. So... Alright, submit one. Sacrifice Gutterbone and Rix. We get two triggers from Mayhem Devil. Opponent goes to four. Goes to two because of Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Our opponent has to sacrifice their creatures so they get ping for one more. And then we sacrifice our food. And that's game. All right, good game for color fires, I guess. All right, this is another game with Rakdos 
Sacrifice, February 2020 edition. And uh, yeah, I guess we have to keep it, right? We need a red sword at some point, but otherwise this hand looks good. We can swamp into gutter bones. So the reason we don't play Cauldron Familiar first is because if we're playing against Mono Red, they could they could just shock our Cauldron Familiar right away and then we lose it. So we'd rather play Witch's Oven first, or in this case, play them together one or after the other. So we'll go for that. Play the Familiar. Attack with Gutter Bones. And our opponent's down to 17. They were playing, they played Watery Grave. So let's see what else this is. This could be Esper or Demir. Right? Okay. Seems like Esper. Omen of the Sea. Short. Alright, so opponent's not going to have a board wipe next turn, but they could have Oath of Kaya to kill our gutter, gutter bones, potentially. Soon. All right, so in this case, we are going to play the Cauldron Familiar just to be able to attack next turn. And we also know that we're not going to be playing like Mayhem Devil. So, yep. So we are going to play the Priest, even though we might it might be susceptible to an Oath of Kaya, but that's that. We can also Fissle the Oath of Kaya with Witch's Oven, so that's not too bad either. Opponent's down to nine. All right, that's pretty cool. So destroy target creature on opponent control. So let's see what they target. They are targeting the priest. So we will get rid of the priest and fizzle that. All right. Good. So next turn, we just revealed our hand. That's fine. So they could have Caius Wrath next turn. But they are down to nine, so we'll play our Wolf Strider here so we can scry next turn and maybe find something good. All right, pass the turn here. In the other hand, if our opponent does not have a board wipe, that'll be pretty good for us. Put a stop on our opponent's end step here. See what they take here. I guess they can take claim the firstborn, right? Ooh, they took that. So they might be planning to play like a planeswalker at some point, I guess. Maybe Teferi or something now. All right, that's uh, Kaya's Wrath. So we are first going to scry here. don't believe we need a land, but it is also a red source, so it's a little bit annoying, but we might want to keep that. Although if we get another cad, we kind of kill them. So just put that to the bottom. Scry again here with gutter bones. Yeah, I guess we do keep another gutter bones, right? Sacrifice. Yeah, I guess we sacrifice the Wolf Strider. Alright, then we play our Cauldron Familiar again. Attack our opponent here for one. Play the gutter bones, put a gutter bones in our hand, pass the turn. All right, so let's see if our opponent can gain some life here. They're going to exile our graveyard. Yeah, that's okay. All 
All right, Esper, what do you have? So we basically we basically have them. They need to gain life here. That's the only way for them to survive this. Or like, I don't know, exile our witches oven, maybe. Some I don't know, some sort of a group of things. I think they're about to concede. It seems like they're in the tank, which means they don't really have an out here. Uh, that's not bad. Three swamps. And uh, yeah, we were able to get there. Three swamps, two gutter bones, one wall strider. Sure. Opponents cry. Just looking at the top of their deck, even though they can't really win here. Treacherous blessing. Sure. All right, they see the next three cards. That's fine. Yep, and that's game. Good game, Esper. All right, we are playing Rakdos February 2020 edition. I do not like this hands. I mean, we have a bunch of cats, but that's all we have. I think we have to mulligan here. This is much better. We can keep this. Send a red cap melee. Let's see. Or this could be mono red. So I think I'd rather say claim the first one, right? If it's not mono red, then we are in trouble. But otherwise. Let's see. Yep. All right. That's good. We do like seeing these we are going to play gutter bones here our opponent has a shock they have a shock all right they definitely do but choose or chose not to play it that's fine with us all right guys this might be our last game just wanted to apologize that we haven't changed our lands here to the nice looking new lands from theros beyond death but um, yeah, we'll do for our next video. No, don't worry. All good. We have the land, so it's just a matter of putting them in. All right, that's a runaway Stim King. That's nice. That's something we can definitely kill with Red Cap Melee. All right, I think we just want to pass the turn here. Don't really want to run these familiars into removal if we don't have to. We're not going to gain a lot of it. I mean, our opponent is probably going to play a creature here, right? So it's not like we're going to be attacking with this cauldron familiar next turn anyway. This might be like an annex. We do have removal. Yep. All right. So fervent champion into rubber of the rich. Attacks, short land. Well, we needed that land, but that's fine. Okay, so we get to red cap Millie. This rubber of the rich. Play a cat to gain some life. At this point, if our opponent wants to. If our opponent wants to kill the cat with a shock, that's that's fine. We'll let that happen. Yeah, we ha we had to kill this robber of the rich because it's really bad against us. Meaning, it's bad for us. They just keep stealing our stuff, and we have a lot of good stuff they could play. All right, they go for the bone crusher. That's fine. They can't play it yet. They go in for the attack with Fervent Champion. They might Rimrock Knight. Okay, sure. That's cool. All right, finally. So we get our Witch's Oven. And we get our Familiar. That's exactly what we needed. Attack for two here. All right, opponent's down to 12. 
very cool. We do need more lands, but we are in good shape at the moment. We also have this claim the firstborn ready. Yep, here comes the bone crusher. Sure. Opponent attacks, we take it. We might have a light up the stage. That is fine with us. Sacrifice that. We don't play this yet. All right, perfect. So let's see, we could. Could potentially just Priest of the Forgotten Gods here. To see where I, what our opponent does with their hand. We can also just play Cauldron Familiar with Witch's Oven. I think we go for the Priest. Ah, this is a tough decision, guys. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Witch's Oven. I just... It just seems like Priest is not gonna do much because we're not really sacrificing... We're not really sacrificing our... Our cats to Priest, right? So, it's like, that's that. No attacks this time. So we can now... <clears throat> sacrifice the gutter bones and get another familiar here. Alright, Annex comes down. Sort of okay. Rimrock Knight, sure. So our opponent's aiming to do like a big attack next turn or something. Alright, we're gonna do this. Sacrifice it. Take one, that's fine. Do the same thing here with the other cat. Alright, that's a land. That's good. Something we can do at least. Alright, opponent's down to nine. We are at 17. So we could potentially claim the firstborn, take this annex, if our opponent blocks it, then we get a bunch of tokens. So we will definitely go for that. Well, not a bunch of tokens, but we'll get one token. Alright, so... Sacrifice the Annex. Get a nice 1-1 one, one there. Pass the turn. Opponent's down to 7. Here comes the big attack, potentially with Ember Cleave, right? So... I believe we just put this priest in front of one of these and our cat here. Maybe we don't have to, we just put both cats. If this is Annex, we'll take we'll take 10, I guess. But that might be fine, right? We can also do this for opponent wants to kill that. I think that's fine with us. Yep. So let's see how they play this Ember Cleave now. Alright, it's a Rimrock Knight. That is fine. They take two damage from that. And and then they're gonna Ember Cleave. So we would take 14 here, but that, that's all we're taking. That is all we are taking. 
14. So that's completely fine with us. Yep. And, uh, yeah, pass the turn. Opponent's dead. Good game, Mono Red. That was all for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And click the bell icon if you want to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Have a good one.